Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to another edition of uh, the AccessTrader.com uh, nightly wrap-up show. Hope everybody is uh, doing well. It is Tuesday. Uh, it is August the 8th. We are uh, down the stretch run for summer. We're obviously going to miss it. We're holding on to it every uh, every last bit of it as, as all of us that live in the Northeast really appreciate uh, the summer. If you guys don't live here, you, you obviously don't know, but hopefully everybody is doing well. If you are brand new to the channel, uh, like, you know, like, subscribe, share, uh, come with us on this journey. Thank you very much for tuning in. We really do uh, appreciate your viewership. So uh, let's talk about, you know, let's talk about the day, right? Uh, some facts for the day. Uh, the NASDAQ 100, uh, this is day five below the 20-day moving average. If you've just been watching this broadcast just for the last five days, you know, we, we keep on reiterating the point how important that 20-day moving average is. Uh, above demand, the market goes higher. Above supply, or excuse me, below supply, the market starts going lower. And that's exactly what we did. Uh, if you go back to yesterday's video, uh, I even gave you guys the, the specific number on the queues, uh, 371.50. All you gotta do is go back to last night's video. Uh, 371.50 was kind of a very, very aggressive area. It held three times in a row in the last several days. It finally hit, got hit today uh, and the queues traded all the way down uh, below 69 and we'll get into the ramification of what happens next because well here's the 50-day moving average and we all know what happened in 2022 when we lose the 50-day moving average so it's very very important um moody's right moody's today uh downgraded a whole bunch of uh regional banks the market obviously did not like to hear that news uh so far fitch has downgraded the credit rating of the united states Moody's now has downgraded uh, the, the credit rating for several uh, several regional banks. The market has a very, very long memory. If you guys remember last year uh, with the whole uh, regional bank crisis, shoot first, ask questions later. Uh, that definitely was a catalyst today uh, for the selling in the markets. Uh, SPX, right? We'll use the SPY as a proxy. Uh, the S&P, ever since it's lost uh, the 20-day moving average as well, uh, has been down five out of the last six days. And the only reason why uh, it didn't continue going further down is because it hit this uh, rising uh, Bollinger Band as well. Uh, after the close, some you know, pretty big uh, matzo balls, right? Got hit with the market. Uh, UPST, that has been uh, a really big high flyer. If you guys remember on yesterday's broadcast, uh, it lost a big area here on this pivot uh, below 59.50. And today, after, after hours reported, down another 17 percent market not liking uh its quarter uh smci uh, as well big big move down uh down another 14 percent uh after hours so again the market is you know is treating uh the earnings sometimes it treats its, its earnings based on market overall sentiment than individual value because if you look at rubian's earnings tonight uh, so far, not a bit, right? And they actually did come out with, I guess, okay numbers if losing less money uh, is a good quarter. But Rivian was expected to lose a dollar thirty-seven. Uh, they came in only losing a dollar eight. Only Wall Street, was, you know, only Wall Street is the only uh, place on the planet that still uh, commends you for losing less. But that's what happened. Uh, but instead of rallying the stock, stock so far a muted reaction uh, after the close, uh, down about fifty cents or so. Not really that big of a deal yet. Uh, CEO saying he's looking for sequential growth. We'll see what happens. But in case it doesn't, I want to watch the bottom of the range here. As you can see where the Bollinger Band here, uh, this 2360 area, I want to watch this thing. Because if you look at the, the last couple of days uh, where it stopped, it's been the same level here. So just in case for tomorrow, I want to keep an eye on this thing. Maybe even tonight, uh, as I'm recording this video, I'm keeping one eye uh, on the earnings. So you have uh, so far a, a not a great uh, earnings uh, quarter today. Uh, tomorrow, you got uh, Roblox coming out with earnings. Let me see what else is coming out with earnings tomorrow. Uh, you got Roblox coming out with tomorrow. You got Disney. Uh, Disney, you got Disney, Roblox, uh, Las Vegas, uh, Wynn. Uh, you have Wynn Resorts coming out. Uh, Penn National Gaming is coming out with earnings tomorrow. Uh, after the close, they are selling uh, Barstools back to uh, Dave Fortnoy. 
Congratulations, pizza guy. Um, let's see what else, what else, what else. I think that's it for tomorrow's, as far as earnings, the, 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 the really big numbers tomorrow are going to be Roblox, uh, Disney, and uh, Wynn Resort. So uh, going into today, again, you, you have to be sell biased. Um, you know, I, I liked going into today's session, uh, Amazon, if we were going to rally, like I always, I always try to make a game plan from both sides. Uh, I liked uh, Google going into today. It didn't confirm yesterday's channel, but it did not sell off. And that's a very, very important thing. If we do have kind of a dead cat ba bounce rally in the next couple of days, look at Google. It's just not selling off here. Uh, and they did come from 132, 133 weekly calls. Uh, Amazon, who's been strong, uh, you know, not really that strong today. I kind of liked it uh, going into today's session above yesterday's range. Obviously, I never got to it. But the stocks that continue to get sold off are the ones that we continue uh, to focus on. Tesla yesterday, well, not just yesterday. Well, yesterday lost its 50-day moving average. Today is day two uh, below the 50-day moving average. I don't expect a lot of movement in the stock, a lot of herky-jerky probably action in the next couple of days. But if it can, if it, this is the most important part. If it cannot get back above the 50-day moving average, um, I have to assume Thursday, you know, Thursday into Friday, we're going to see a challenge of yesterday's channel. And boy, oh boy, if this thing starts losing yesterday's channel in the next couple of days, look how much room you have uh, all the way to the bottom. Uh, so that's not going to be uh, something great uh, if Tesla can't rally for the next couple of days. Um, names, for example, like Square continue to kind of bleed. We talked about Square. Um, you know, there's a lot of names right now that are not participating on uh, NVIDIA, right? NVIDIA had its... Um, I guess it was some sort of conference. The CEO uh, was sp speaking today, AI, supercomputer, superconductor, blah, 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 blah. Uh, we'll get to the pivots in a second. You know, again, this is day uh, three below the 10 day, now day three below the five day. You know, I want to watch this thing. They, they were coming for uh, the 430 and the 435 weekly puts uh, into this, uh, I guess, presentation. Uh, by the CEO. We also saw a, a good handful of September 420 puts uh, going into September as well. As far as the indexes go, again, the same thing, guys. We are keep on uh, building below the 20-day moving average. Uh, watch the spies in the next couple of days. It doesn't have to happen tomorrow, but if the spies start losing 445, then we're going to have a date with the 50-day moving average and we'll get to we'll get to the importance of the 50 day when it gets closer. Again, we don't want if you're a macro bull, you don't want to have that conversation again. All you have to do is revert to 2022. What happens if you lose the 50 day moving average? Matter of fact, all you have to do is look at uh, to see what happened to Tesla when lost the 50 day moving average. So that's a conversation. Hopefully, if you are a perma bull, uh, we won't be having. But we always have to be prepared. And again, for me, it doesn't make a difference, long, short, or indifferent. Uh, I'm looking for value. I'm, I don't fall in love with the stock. I fall in love with technical analysis and the ranges. Uh, if you look at the Qs, uh, again, stopped at the Bollinger Band today. Again, the same conversation as the spies we might be having soon on the Qs. If they don't start bouncing back, if they don't start reclaiming uh, at least the, you know this 376 area, it's going to be super duper important that they do or else, again, that 50-day is not that far off. It didn't quite test it there today, but it's not far off. Uh, the most important part, and I'm seeing this a lot from a lot of new new traders, a lot of new option traders. I'm not an options trader, but uh, I'm probably the biggest novice when it comes to options. Uh, but the one thing I, I do know, right? I do know as, as clear as day, uh, when you are under supply, and right now the Qs and the S&P are under supply, the last thing you want to do is buy call premium, okay? We're under supply. That's the whole point. There's no movement. There's no room uh, to uh, to proceed with higher prices. You want to sell premium. And I see, I'm seeing a lot of uh, newer traders talking about, well, I bought calls on this. I go. There's no reason to buy calls right now, guys, unless you're taking some random lottery ticket into earnings, which is gambling in itself. Which is a you know, do not do anyway. You know, go on DraftKings, go on FanDuel, bet on a sporting event. At least I'll have some fun watching the game. Uh, but unless you're taking some sort of YOLO uh, calls into earnings, you, you're you're meeting every single day with supply. That's why. Every single rally for the last three, four days, even yesterday, we talked about in yesterday's video, despite the market rallying, we're still putting in, you know, lower highs into supply. So uh, if you're, if you're a brand new trader, uh, always keep this in mind, above supply, you can buy calls below supply. You want to sell them because again, there is no movement and technical sellers are coming in uh, during emotional buyers 
uh, uptakes throughout the day. And it's very, very important you understand that now uh, until it's too late, till you burn out uh, your mental and your uh, your equity. Okay, it's very, very important to understand that. So again, bulls need some work. They need to get back above supply. Um, I don't know where the catalyst is going to be. It just feels like more and more uh, negative news is coming out here on the day. Today, you know, you have Moody's you know, with the downgrades of banks. Then you have, uh, you know, you have earnings season coming, you know, kind of winding down. Again, we understand we have NVIDIA coming up uh, soon. But again, I don't, you know, I very, very highly doubt that NVIDIA uh, is not is going to save the market if all these other behemoths uh, couldn't do so. But again, you never know, right? You never know. Again, we 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 live by day to day. We trade by day to day, one day at a time, one trade at a time. Again, we're not trying to predict uh, what's going to happen in 2096, right? Uh, it's not exactly what we do. So let's talk about the pivots today. Um, again, this was you know this was a really good one. Uh, this was a, a pretty good pivot uh, you know, towards the end of the day. Uh, excuse me, towards the end of the morning. Uh, so CEO of NVIDIA was giving a keynote speech in uh, in Los Angeles, some sort of conference. And he started talking AI, superconductor, macroconductor, blah, 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 blah. And the whole thing was, again, we weren't prepared for one side of the market. We were prepared for both. So we had 256.50 to the upside, uh, 40, 444 to the downside. And there was a mixed bag of uh, uh, options activity into uh, into this conference. Uh, the 465 weeklies were coming out and also the 435 weeklies uh, puts. And, you know, we traded the downside, right? That was the whole point. The 444 breakdown. Uh, we actually started shorting this thing through the lows of the day of 445. But once it got below 445, went all the way down uh, into the 440 area. Really good move. Really, really good, good move uh, to seal uh, the morning session. Uh, Square, not that big of a move yet. Uh, Square, 6250 pre-market lows. Uh, it closed about, you know, you know, it closed about 6230s. Not not a big move yet, but again, still looks lower. Uh, DOCN never confirmed uh, 3430. Actually, DOCN, actually, I'm very, very surprised uh, that it actually bounced. And we're still watching that 3430s level uh, for the next couple of weeks. Uh, Amazon obviously never got close to 5254. Uh, Google, even though it did not confirm, it's holding on, guys. I'm telling you, this is the only stock that really interests me. Uh, if we do have a, be a debt cap balance in the next couple of days, this thing is actually holding up fairly well. And, and look, look at the last four days as, as the NASDAQ is putting in lower highs and lower lows. The funny thing is Google is actually putting in higher lows and, and just hugging uh, hugging this five and 10 day moving average. So again, this is the only one I'm really interested in uh, just in case there's a debt cap bounce tomorrow. Uh, but again, it looks, uh, looks uh, ready if we do bounce. Uh, so that was fine. Uh, Microsoft got hit. I believe we talked about Microsoft on the video. 327 held twice we builds below can flush microsoft got hit congratulations all you guys it took microsoft again look how low, this is what happens when you lose the 50 day you see you guys once microsoft lost the 50 day all the predominant action has happened to the bottom uh, to the bottom of uh, uh of the move so here was uh 327 it lost 327 it went all the way down uh to 323 great job great job for you guys it took that um netflix you know not a big move 442 needs to build went up like a dollar 50 and then as you can imagine it died like everything else. Uh, Meta never got up to 318.41. But this is the one that we talked about yesterday. Again, I always try to give you guys, I always try to give you guys um, uh, the, a specific price point in the ETFs. Again, uh, you know, not, not for every, every other stock, obviously, just because, uh, you know, for obvious reasons. But for all you guys who are tuning in, thank you very much. That's kind of my um, uh, my my way of saying thank you for your viewership, for your, all your years of, of watching the channel. We talked about this 371.15 in last night's video, held three times. If it builds below, can flush. Q's got hit. Congratulations for all you guys who took it. It took out this uh, 371.50, this whole range here, 71.50, and went down to 68.80s. Great move. Great, great move on that as well. So that's it. You know, the stage is set for tomorrow. Uh, Tesla, I was looking for a dead cat bounce here who never came. Oh, yeah, there was one, one last pivot. I, I forgot about this thing. I took this thing for a little bit of cash flow. Uh, Boeing 239 needs to build. Uh, they were coming from the 245 and 260 calls. Uh, it spiked initially up 50 cents, and then it ran up another dollar and a half. But yeah, a little cash flow. Uh, something is better than nothing. And that's it. That's it, guys. So again, we continue to build uh, below the 20-day moving average. And if the bulls do not get their act together, we will soon be having this conversation. And once again, the importance of who has control of the 50-day. And again, I don't want to put the cart in front of the horse, but if you are a perma bull, you don't want to have that conversation because, again, all you need to do is look at uh, 2022, what happens uh, when the Qs lost uh, the 50 day. Guys, God bless everybody. Hope everybody's doing really, really well. Hope everybody's healthy, happy, 
and more important, alive to see another day. Guys, have a great day. I'll see you all tomorrow. Take care.